Uh, these winds are really picking up north of Farmington. They are going to spread farther south as we go throughout the afternoon. So eventually, Salt Lake City will start to see some strong winds a little bit later on this afternoon. If you're south of I-80, it might be a little bit breezy, but you are not going to see the strongest of the winds. The strongest winds will be north of I-80. And here are some of the uh, with peak wind gusts that we've seen so far. Lewiston up in Cache Valley, 24 mile per hour gusts. North Ogden, 37. Ogden at uh, Mill Creek High School, 52 mile per hour gusts. Morgan, 32. And here in Salt Lake City, really hasn't been too bad so far, 20 mile per hour gusts. So you can see where winds are out of the east and they're being forced up and over the mountains and then picking up speed as they come down. Weber, Davis counties, that's where we're really starting to see the gusts. They do turn and come more from the northeast and that's why we're not seeing the stronger winds yet across southern Davis County or the northern end of Salt Lake County, but they will be filling in as the afternoon goes on. Here's the high wind warning that we have in place in the dark orange shaded area, wind advisory for the lighter orange shaded areas. So it will be breezy and even windy at times in these lighter orange shaded areas, but it is really the dark orange area that we are most concerned about. So we do have a first alert weather day from Logan down to about Mill Creek. In those areas, we'll see sustained winds out of the east 20 to 40 miles per hour. Some gusts, though, could get to 70. And in Davis County, I would not be surprised to see gusts 80 to 85 miles per hour. All because of this low pressure system, which is just to the southeast of Las Vegas. Counterclockwise flow around is what's giving us those east winds here across the northern end of the Wasatch Front. So here's your hour by hour forecast. Those winds will be picking up a little bit later on this afternoon here in Salt Lake City. They're going to stay gusty into the evening hours as well and into tomorrow as well.